Apply Linguistics 1. Agenda. Interlanguage definition. Some elements of interlanguage. Errors and transfer. Applied interlanguage examples. Previous video analysis. Actual related video. Bibliography. Interlanguage definition. Imagine a person standing on the ledge of a huge gap and he wants to get to the other side. He cannot walk around, he cannot fly over, but he can build a bridge plank by plank. At first, he might be able to walk across carefully and so he can get to the other side. But if he adds to it, it might be strong enough to drive a car across. At this point, that is the same process, and it's called interlanguage. In other words, inter means between and the way this bridge is the way we can get to the target and it's what we call interlanguage. Learners create this language when they attempt to communicate in the target language. Let's have a look. The person who is in the ledge speaks Russian as the mother tongue. On the other ledge is the English language this person is going to acquire. The way he tries to communicate is a bridge, and this bridge is the interlanguage. That's how interlanguage is a linguistic system used by second language learners in order to communicate themselves. Language transfer is the influence that one language, L1, or Spanish can have on another language, L2, or English. It happens when rules, elements, or systems that appear in interlanguage are the result of the use of these elements, rules, or systems in a different language, generally from L1. In other words, transfer errors can be caused by the interference from the mother tongue, in our case Spanish. A student that still doesn't know the rules of the target language will use the same rules that he knows from his native language in order to communicate. There are two types of language transfer, positive language transfer and negative language transfer. Positive language transfer occurs when the learner transfers elements from its mother tongue that are similar in the target language. On the other hand, negative transfer occurs when elements transferred are not similar, causing mistakes. As it can be seen in the picture, both students use the same expression when referring to how old they are. When the teacher asked them, how old are you, they both gave the answer the same way. They answered, I have 11 years. This can be classified as a transfer error, as the students answer it in English but using Spanish elements. They also use literal translation to give an answer. This is a good example of the mistake they made. They both use the verb have the same way you will use it in Spanish. Now in Spanish, you will say yo tengo 11 años when referring to how old you are. In English, the correct answer would be I am 11 years old. So as you can see, the example shows that they use the same system or the same elements they use in Spanish. The same mistake can be observed and heard later in the video. When the teacher asked the student how old her sisters were, she gave the same answer as the previous example. She answered, they have three years old. The correct answer should have been, they are three years old. Most of you have probably heard a child say a word that you will never say. For example, children acquiring English as a routine they will produce verbs like bring, goat, or nouns like mouses, foots, teeth, or peoples. In this case, the students are over generalizing by applying a grammatical rule in cases where it doesn't apply. In the following picture, you will find a transcription of where the student is over generalizing the plural noun people by adding an S to it. Training transfer is the ability of learners to apply what they have learned before. In the following picture, the teacher asks the student, how many desks does the classroom have? And the student's response is, there are more than. 
This shows the way the student has been trained before by using the correct structure. Facilitation. It occurs when the student remains in the same area in spite of he has been taught over and over about the same explanation. The error becomes an habit and the students get used to repeat it often. In the video you are next to watch, you will be able to see the error of facilitation which is highlighted in yellow on subtitles. This error is notable and recurrent because the students have been hardly taught at conjunctions but they both remain in the same error saying work instead of works like you can see on the screenshots. For Fota, refers to seconds 37 and 43 on the video. Thank you. 